In any competition, you expect greatness to seal the deal, but sometimes you get the exact opposite of that. Performing at the highest level isn't easy, but it's what fans expect from the best talent in the world. That's why when a player or team fails to do so, it can be hard to forget. Here are the top 10 chokes in esports. Every team would love to start the split by extending their undefeated run, but with success like that, fans expected positive results in the playoffs. At the beginning of 2020, the LCS saw Cloud9 get off to a roaring 12-0 start in the spring split, which they ended up winning. But they will not stop it. Cloud9 waited six years and they will hoist the trophy again. For all five players, the first time in their careers, the Nexus falls, Licorice deals the killing blow, and Cloud9 win the 2020 LCS Spring Split. But despite a strong 9-0 start to the summer split, one of the best years in Cloud9's history ended in 3-1 losses to FlyQuest and TSM in the playoffs. With Blabber down, it is a 2-4. v Cloud9 started this season looking so damn good, but TSM have risen to the occasion. They have taken down the Nexus turret. They will take down the remaining players on the Cloud9 roster. For the first time in seven years, C9 will not be attending Worlds. A year full of promise destroyed in a single series. Now that is a big choke. Our next entry can't be boiled down to a single choke, but instead covers an entire era where a team that seemed legitimately terrifying just couldn't help but choke when it mattered. And it all comes down to Sipnik's here. 1v4, he's got 15 seconds and can denies it. To Envy, they make their grand finals here in Cologne. Team Solo mid CS roster, which would later become known as Astralis, seemed to have a bright future ahead of them, but they had one problem. They could never make it to the grand finals of a major tournament. More pressure than they've ever had on them here. Freiburg spray through the smoke, it's gonna take down one. Dupree goes down and CSM, they drop out NIP. They're gonna be in the semifinals once again. But the team's inability to clinch made their eventual coming out party at the 2017 E League Major all the more satisfying. He goes down with the Max 70, can't make it happen. Finally, Pasha coming in with a refract, but he's down. The bomb has been picked up by Dupree. They get the spray. Neo takes one and touches it there. And Astralis, they win the first major championship 16 14 against Virtus Pro. Unbelievable. Love it or hate it, Overwatch is a game where every ult is important, especially when we're talking about a team fight. Nene, as he's moving over, he just sees a flash, a hint out of the corner of his eye, his peripheral vision. <laughs> Nene's got the eyes of a hunter and sees Michelle <laughs> over there. In the quarterfinals of Overwatch League Stage 1 playoffs, the New York Excelsior's Nene seemingly tried to use his grab to catch Michelle Sombra out of position. Not there for flat up. They can still make this work, but it's going to be in overtime. As they work their way forward. Oh, 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 what was that? He eats it off his side. It doesn't do jack. With the team fight lost, the Soul Dynasty locked up the series. Even the casters called it what it was. Nene choked. Soul oh, Dynasty is the answering grab. Go through. OT going to be taken down. And they've actually done it. Nene chokes at the final hour. Throws the grab off to the side. And Dynasty say thank you very much. We're going to the semi. Dota 2 is an unforgiving game, and players will do whatever it takes in-game to get even the smallest of advantages. The job as a captain in Dota is just to try and win by any means necessary. It was for that reason that Kyle Swindle Melons Friedman dropped his Yule Scepter of Divinity on the ground. A risky move, especially during Game 3 of Complexity's lower bracket match against Virtus Pro at TI5. So there's a lot of math involved here, but basically you're dropping that item and lowering your stats temporarily to gain a slight benefit from an on-use item, in this case, a soul ring. But when he dropped the item, it didn't go to plan. He was ganked and the Yules was lost. At the same time, Virtus Pro now, like they've still been farming the entire time. Echo Slam, Swindle, real trouble, FNG. They bring down the Storm Spirit. 
<laughs> Who are you trying to call, Sint? I think Swindle Mill has just lost his Yules. I think he dropped it to get more out of his bottle in the bottom lane. Oh. And it got destroyed by the Shaker when he ganked him with the Echo. So that's an, a 2,800 gold loss. Now, we don't know for sure the complexity would have won the game if this Yules hadn't been destroyed. But losing it sure made it a lot harder to win. And in a must-win game three, we have to call this one like it is. A big choke. If you're a Team Liquid CSGO fan, my condolences, because you've seen enough choking to last a lifetime. But maybe the worst example from their storied history was at MLG Columbus 2016, where they faced off against Luminosity Gaming in the Majors semi-final. Up 15 to nine on Mirage, just a single round away from victory, Liquid collapsed and lost 15-19 in overtime, and the crowd just sounded stunned. Versus three, this is for everything. This is for the map right now. Eco making its way around the smoke. The spammer, he will spot Taco, but that's it. Luminosity with a comeback from 15-10. An amazing play from Cole with the AWP all the way back into overtime, into a victory. 10 rounds in a row for Luminosity. Then on map two, up 15 to six on cash, it happened again as they fell 16-19 in overtime. Renly's a one versus four retake with an AWP. And there it is, Cold is gonna take his head off and Luminosity will find themselves in the grand finals against Na'Vi. It is perhaps one of the most notorious chokes in the history of the game, and a harsh reminder that being a liquid CSGO fan is often not for the faint of heart. Everyone has a bad day now and then, but sometimes your bad day has extreme consequences. Should be on the hands of Mushy, and in fact goes the hands of Windrunner. Yeah, uh, nope. Denial. Den what? They denied it. They failed. Oh! Oh! And we see a lot of rares being in and out for witnessing. At TI3, with the series tied one on one, KYXY of Orange Esports made history when he accidentally denied his own team's Aegis after killing Roshan. You don't really kill Roshan for the experience and gold, you kill it for that Aegis. It, it must be like like attack moving there or something like that. It's definitely an accident. It is most definitely an accident. This isn't the ultimate diss up against Navi saying we don't it, need no Aegis not. to bid. That's win. an accident. Orange was so far ahead of their opponents, Navi, that even without it, it seemed like a comeback was pretty unlikely. But whether it was the raw tilt from losing the Aegis or the lack of the item's actual effect, Orange somehow found a way to lose this game. Locked in position, Havos with a double kill, Mushi almost dead, is dead, Mushi down, SK will buy back, and GG! Navi, they come back from what looked like oblivion to get into their third international grand final. Losing a commanding lead when you should be able to close out the game is a textbook choke. And doing it in the grand finals of a major is something that evil geniuses are very familiar with. In the grand finals of the Six Invitational 2018, the Canadian-led evil geniuses roster looked like it was ready to close it out against Penta Sport. Necrox inching up so close. One goes down. Pengu doesn't look, sees the mute. Necrox and Canadian, it's 5 2 for EG. And Necrox still uncontested. EG, one map away from the championship. But Penta never gave up. And after winning Cafe with thrilling finishes on both Bank and Coastline, they were able to complete the reverse sweep. One will cover the doorway as they start to defuse. Pengu goes for one on the young. Can he go the second? They're off the note as the best team in the world, never having that distinction until today. Penta are your world champions, the second Invitational. But as we pointed out in our video about it, this actually happened to EG again at the Pro League Season 9 Finals. A single round from winning their match against Empire, Canadian decided to peak Oregon's white stairs and the collapse began anew as Empire rolled back into EG and into Pro League's history in another 1v2, no less. MVK will watch as Geo goes for the plant. The sound cue will give Dim the information. Oh, he takes one down! Oh! And a new Empire will rise as you crown a new champion here in Milan. An addition of Dan to this team proves to be what's needed. 
and this miracle comeback from evil geniuses will be all but a dream. Empire are your season nine champions. When your game is at EVO, you expect a hype grand finals. But Smash Ultimate's 2019 tournament looked like it might actually just be a clean 3-0. Tweet came in from winner's side and was up 2-0 over MK Leo, needing only one more win with his Pokemon trainer to take home first place. Tweak is so far ahead of Leo. We saw Leo continually land into Tweak again and again. He keeps eating these forward smashes. He's, leading, he's eating these aerials. Tweak is on his way to winning EVO 2019. But even battered, Leo's Joker was one step ahead of the competition as he rallied and turned the tide. Tweak had great chances to close out the first set, including being up two stocks in game four, but Leo reset the bracket and swept Tweak in the second series to steal the championship. Waiting for the third jab, so smart. He's gonna try to go low. Can he spike it? He mistimes it. He grabs the ledge, oh! and with that, MK Leo defeats Tweak to be your 2019 Evo champion. You can dread it, you can run from it, but in the end, MK Leo will arrive in Grand Finals. Our runner up entry goes to one of the hardest to watch moments in Street Fighter history Punk's loss to Takedo at Evo 2017. Punk was NA's great hope at EVO 2017, and heading into the Grand Finals, he looked like a lock. Find a hit here, we'll see what happens. Oh, the whip and the sweep. Punk staying alive. And you can see how happy it was. I've never seen him so emotional, so invested in a match. Right. Well, he knows that this is it. This is the biggest match of his life. Entering the Grand Finals from the winner's side, Punk just had to take a set to put Takedo away. But when the murder face reset the bracket, no one was sure how Punk would react. You can see he's unsettled. Punk is not ready for this. There's so much pressure on him. Take some time. Take some time. Do not jump back into this match. He did the thumbs up. This is what happens. It's slipping from him. You can see evolution. It's just right out of his reach. Tokido came out furiously in the second set and pressured Punk until he broke with a 3-0 sweep. He's got the trigger. If he finds a hit, he'll kill. He, just, he jumped oh. onto it. Oh, he baited the, the, the throw. That's it. That's it. Tokido is the Evolution 2017 champion coming all the way from loser's bracket. He's done it. Now, Punk is still young, so he has plenty of time to bring NA their due. It just didn't happen this time. At number one is a choke that has already ended up in more than a few of our videos. So, what's one more, right? At E-League Major Boston in 2018, the hometown crowd was treated to history as North America's Cloud9 took home their region's first CSGO Major. But across from them was a FaZe Clan super team that was facing huge expectations that they simply failed to meet. Fittingly, FaZe's major run would end with Guardian outnumbered and alone on the bomb site. Patiently, as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E-League major champions! Even if Guardian one day earns his major win, this one won't be fading into history anytime soon. So those were our top 10 chokes in esports. Have you guys ever choked in a game before? I've uh, I've never choked before. But just before you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 2 million subs and you can help us get there. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.